I, I was just coming out of the out of the bunk rooms below. Uh, came out of the hatch onto the fantail uh, about like five minutes of eight. The general alarm was blaring like it always did on at eight o'clock on board ship uh, on the small ships that were in harbor and um, the other one other uh, ships in our nest there were four of us on the nest uh, when the attack occurred and uh, they were going off uh, blaring off too they wouldn't stop I thought there was something wrong with them and just then a plane flies low over the over the ship had a big red ball painted on it floated down and dropped the bomb and a big blow explosion on Ford Island my god I looked up at the bridge uh, there's my boss up there the chief signalman waving his arms and his mouth was flapping I couldn't hear what he's saying and uh, I raced up to the bridge and he told me to well, he introduced me to World War II, and he said, get below and wake up the crew, because a lot of them were still sacked out. And uh, I went down there, and you can imagine the uh, reception I got, you know, wake up, wake up, they're bombing us, oh, get out of here. I might as well have said uh, uh, the Martians had landed. <laughs> um, but... Then our, our own guns started firing, and that we got them out of sack in a hurry. Uh, they had to, we had awnings over the fantail. They had to be ripped off. They had them cut with knives. Well, of course, that would have got a court martial in the, if it hadn't been war. Um, and uh, uh, we were, uh, we had five five inch guns on on the ship at that time and uh, the three of them were on the stern part and two of them in the bow part uh, our nest was was uh, tied to a buoy and it was oriented toward the shore well the shore in uh, Oahu uh, went up sharply to the uh, volcanic mountains mm -hmm. in the center of the island and the Japanese were coming over those mountains, and they had to drop down quickly to uh, release their torpedoes or their bombs uh, onto the battleships and big, big other targets that they had in mind. Um, and we were too close to the shore for them to really focus on us. But our stern guns, they uh, managed to get a uh, good... Uh, 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 I, uh, I, uh, contact to aim at the uh, planes coming, coming down on the Fort Island and so on. Um, the two bow guns started, tried to fire at the planes too, but all they could do is shoot straight up. <laughs> and, uh, somebody on the, on the tender on the flying bridge came right over to the edge of the ship and there's our here's our guns right there at the 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 muzzle of the guns about even with the flying bridge on the tender and some somebody came over to shout a shout something down to one of our somebody on our ships and he darn near had his head blown off i mean well he lost his hearing for a while i'm sure right we were told quickly after that to uh, secure our bow guns. Hmm. Uh, but uh, as soon as the attack occur, uh, started, why, why our, the, the people that we had ashore had aboard started racing over to the uh, tender to pick up uh, the pieces and parts and instruments and so forth that had been put over there. And uh, boy, uh, you take a take a. Uh, somebody said the one of the valves on the engine taking two people to carry it over to the to the tender. One guy carried it back. Wow! 
uh, I know the uh, the quartermaster had to crawl through a porthole to uh, get at his uh, instruments that were over there because the door uh, into the room where they were was locked. Mm. Um, we scrambled to get our ships back together, and uh, I was uh, uh, helping out down on the at the gun level uh, because they were short short handed because of the people ashore, and. Uh, uh, I was carrying uh, 50 caliber ammunition up to the uh, 50 caliber guns up on the, uh, the after bridge. The, uh, those guns uh, froze up quickly after, in the firing because somebody forgot to turn the water on. But they were air cooled, I mean, water cooled uh, 50 caliber guns. Um, uh, down at the uh, on the fantail, uh, there was a, a gunner. Was uh, our five-inch guns were used semi-fixed ammunition. That's meant that we had a projectile and a bag of gunpowder. They were separate. And uh, this uh, gunner it was r trying to ram both those things into his breech, and it wouldn't fit. So he pulled out the guy, bag of gunpowder and sawed off a piece of a section of it so it would fit. Wow. And he had a, uh, a stub of a cigar in his mouth when he was doing that. And I never forgot that. I said, my God, and there was I was standing there watching him doing that. Uh, 